Do you want to live a healthy lifestyle, have no clue where to start from? In this video, we are going to cover seven easy tips to get you on track and start the healthy journey. We spill out valuable tips, tricks and hacks on happy and healthy lifestyle. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing. And if you're really interested, please click that bell icon to remain updated. Folks, we're on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. If you want to see some inspirational posts, workout routines and recipes, give us a follow and join this community. In this video, we talk about baby steps. Baby steps before you start going to the gym like crazy and prepping all those meals so, so that you could start that healthy lifestyle. We talk about seven easy tips that do not cost you anything and help you start this journey effortlessly and seamlessly, just like we always try to at Complete Formula. Because what we're trying to do is change your mindset before you start chasing a healthy lifestyle. This is of utmost importance because for any change to sustain, you need the help of your good buddy, your mind. Because only deep-rooted values and beliefs can be maintained for a long period of time and maybe even a lifetime. Another takeaway from this video is that you need to remember that our body is 100% capable of taking care of itself, provided it's not overwhelmed with toxins and not underwhelmed with not enough nutrition. Without further ado, let's begin. Tip number one, clean the shit up. To introduce and maintain a habit or a healthy habit, you need to adjust your environment. If you want to live healthy, your environment should support this. All we're trying to say is raid through your pantries, get rid of your junk food and replace them with healthy alternatives. May it be ranging from uh, organic crispy chips to dark chocolate if you're a sweet tooth fan so that when you get those cravings for greasy and sugar alternatives, you have something to go to. If you're not a very big fan of a cold turkey approach, keep a healthy alternative next to your junk food, such as your Oreos. And when you're just about ready to grab that junk food, ask yourself, should I be eating this? Just get yourself questioning that. Just like with food, think about other elements in your life. Try and introduce a sense of essentialism and minimalism to everything that you have and come across on a daily basis. Question whether you need the extra pair of shoes or whether you need that extra, extra handbag. The less amount of things that you have around you, the less amount of thinking process that you need to exert to make those decisions, which naturally translates to a lower amount of stress. And also, did you know that you have limited amount of uh, choices per day? So for example, if you waste these choices on choosing your clothes in the morning, naturally you will have them less uh, during the day when actually you have to make important life choices. So think about it and actually more thing doesn't make us more happy. Tip number two, start reading labels and buy food we do not contain any additives, preservatives, sweeteners, colorants and flavor enhancers. These products unnaturally stimulate your taste buds, which automatically makes you crave for more. This means that highly processed food is carefully engineered to get you hooked. That's why you always grab that bag of crisp, right? Or Coca-Cola or whatever. As we mentioned in our second video, which I will strongly advise you to watch it if you haven't already, this enables the huge food corporation to make a food which is low in calories, it's low fat, sugar free, etc. But all of these additives disrupt your hormones, alter your gut bacteria, trigger cravings and actually the chronic inflammation in our whole system. Tip number three, start questioning the type of foods that you've always been eating. Apply the rule that no food is neutral. So, do you still think milk and cereal is the perfect choice for your breakfast still? Do you really think that it provides you a balanced profile of nutrition to get tra tackling with your day? And don't get us wrong, we're not telling that you should be complete food saints. All what we're trying to get at is get you to challenge that next food decision, may it be at a grocery store or at a restaurant, to make you question yourself whether that is healthy or not healthy. And just by doing this, don't ever get into the habit of 
judging yourself when you do something out of line. When you want to eat a cookie or a pizza or a burger, whatever that may be, just enjoy that decision. Get to, get to a state of enjoying your food decisions, but make sure that your diet is balanced, nourished and moderated so that you feel comfort. The best way to make your food choices easy is to stick with whole foods and always start challenging the alternative. Hashtag water break. Tip number four, my favorite one, game changer and absolutely must have on the list, morning routine. So for us, morning routine is waking up. She always makes the bed. Yes, making the bed after you wake up, brushing your teeth before you having a breakfast, dry brushing and hydrating yourself with warm water with ginger and lemon. You may ask why making bed? You will immediately feel um, feeling of fulfillment. It's the first success of your day. So everything after that has to be good as well. And of course, when you're coming back home, you come back to a clean house, which is perfect. Brushing your teeth before breakfast. There is a huge disagreement whether you should be brushing your teeth before or after breakfast, but we, of course, supported by science, will tell you that before breakfast is the way you should do it because you're removing uh, bacteria from your mouth, which enhance your digestive system. And um, by removing bacteria and scrubbing your tongue, actually you stimulate nervous system, which means you stimulate your organs. Because overnight you go through a hibernation phase and a detoxifying phase and mouth is one of the ways that the body excretes all of these toxins. So it's a good way to get rid of those. Dry brushing. If you haven't heard about this before and if you want to have glowy skin, remove, get rid of cellulite or uh, get rid of brain fog and just feel more energetic and vital, this is the answer. Dry brushing. It only takes two minutes and it enables you to take advantage of your lymphatic system. And the role of the lymphatic system is to remove the waste, all the bacteria and toxins from our body. Mm -hmm. So we just need to stimulate that system by brushing our body and since, since the morning routine is about cleansing and detoxifying, you of course need to hydrate your body. Why with lemon and ginger and why warm water? Usually your digestive system in the morning is very sluggish, so you need to help the body wakes up and where the cold water contracts the warm water actually release and relax so this is why warm water and lemon like the, for the digestive system it's almost like a teardrop so every morning it's laid down when you rush it with cold water it almost falls down whereas warm water it wakes it up why lemon to provide electrolytes for your body and first and foremost a lot of potassium mm. and ginger also uh, help your digestions so this is absolutely, I do it every morning. And the ginger uh, boosts your immune system as well, right? To summarize, why hydration? Because you are lying down for eight hours, that's it. Tip number five, slow down your thoughts and reflect without judgment. Take the time during your day to slow down and give your mind a break. We're consistently requested and asked to multitask out at our jobs and rush from one assignment to the other. We barely have time to stop and reflect on what's gone by through the day. Usually at the end of the day, we even question ourselves, hey, what did I get up to over the course of the day? So what do we do? We start with meditating. We start our day with meditating 15 minutes as soon as we wake up. And that gives us the clarity and the calmness to tackle the day. And on the other hand, when you're vulnerable to emotions and the consistent judgmental nature of the overridden emotion, take a step back. Don't respond to a email heated. Don't get into a conversation aggressively. Don't judge yourself if you made a mistake. Don't be depressed thinking about something that you've done in the past. Just be in the present. Let the emotions pass by and reserve your judgment. Hey, don't get us wrong. We're not asking you guys to be cold-hearted assassins. All we're trying to say is spot the urge when you're about to judge it. Reserve it. This will help you replenish and strengthen your relationships, whether it may be from food to friends. And if you're interested, we'll link some of the ebooks and some of the material that we found useful to tackle this ourselves. Me personally, I'm still trying to master this myself. One simple way that you can assist to slow down your thoughts and bring clarity to your day is to simply start by bullet journaling. That's a fancy way of saying, write down a to-do list. 
every single day, start by setting out some time to do exactly what you want to do. One small tip associated with this, always overestimate the time that you expect to spend on something that you want to do over that day. By the end of the day, you can cross them off and have a self of fulfillment. Also, this is a great place to write down what are you grateful for in your in your life. Gratitude journal! Yeah, or track your water intake or your healthy foods or your workouts, everything. But we don't track calories, right? We don't track calories, don't track macros and calories. Tip number six, front load your meals with vegetables. I get vegetables and you know what I'm talking about. As we mentioned before, we are taking baby steps. That is why we will not advise you to completely change your meals and start to eat completely different food. What we actually... Good, the hydration is good. What we actually want you to advise about is front, front loading your meals with vegetables. So before you eat your juicy, fatty pizza, just prepare a simple salad with tomato and spinach, some salt and pepper. Doesn't really take that long, does it? Yeah, yeah, just like mix the ingredients and it will slow down the glycemic uh, spike of the food you eat. And actually there is a high chance that you eat less of the junk food. The yeah. same it refers to the sodas you drink. For example, before drinking a glass of Coca-Cola, just drink the same amount of water before. Last tip, folks. Tip number seven. Introduce activity and train smarter, not harder. The key here is make it sustainable. If you've never stepped into the gym, don't start with a five day, 60 minute a day, massive workout plan. Start with very small steps. Start with working out or doing some push-ups at home or walk to work and let your mind follow and let your body simply adapt. And on the other hand, don't overexert yourselves. Don't think that doing 10 times the same thing would bring you quicker and faster results. After all folks, this is a long journey, so why rush it? Actually guys, this was my case before. I was running on the treadmill like crazy for 40 minutes and actually it didn't serve my purpose at all. I want to lose weight, but I didn't know that it's not efficient. And let us know if you want us to explain why cardio is not as effective as resistance training. Or why compound exercises are better than single. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Let us know in the comments below what would be your first 10 minutes, what would be your takeaway from this video, whether it will be 10 minutes of meditation, whether you will prepare a shopping list, or you would just like go and clean the shit up. <laughs> and as we promised, bonus thing. Remember to measure your success in the journey by dedication to the journey, not the achieved goals. It's not about 10 pounds, five pounds, Is the simply fact that you start meditation, that you went to the gym, these are the successes. Enjoy the journey, not the destination. Exactly. It's been six weeks, nine episodes. We've been yapping on about how to live a healthy and happy lifestyle. Next video, we want to make it personal. We're going to talk about what we learned through this nutrition journey and this healthy journey and share that with you. And if you like this video, please give us a thumb, thumbs up. And share this video if you find it useful. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.